good evening everybody uh, <clears throat> uh, Saturday the missus moves to her own place and uh, my life restarts with focus on myself and my kids and uh, I'm actually feeling quite excited about it because now I have a chance to shape the life the way I want it. Travel wherever I want, do whatever I want, work with whatever I want. Um, so the spirit is getting back to me. Uh, Sweden, the, the psychotic mental institution in Scandinavia, uh, has now decided to keep the government they decided to uh, remove or exactly the politicians decided to keep the government that the public and the people wanted to remove. And uh, now they have decided to invest 1.3 billion Swedish krona or 1,307 millions into receiving more asylum seekers. You know, the ones that are in top in gang rapes assault rapes, knife murders, shootings, bombing, hand grenade attacks, etc, uh, etc. Et so instead of uh, securing the border and making it uh, harder to get into Scandinavia, in Sweden especially, uh, they decided to actually bomb the border and remove every security available. Uh, reports now comes in that Sweden has the second worst border patrol in the Europe, uh, basically almost in the world, and our politicians decide to invest in gender studies and high-speed railroads for 700 billion Swedish kroners, or 700 miljarder. Uh, at the same time, uh, our elderly retired has uh, no place to live. They are living on the street. They are. We have the highest numbers of uh, senior citizens that are living under uh, the lowest level of financial situation. They are considered to be poor. Uh, we have 6,000 children living on the street, real children, not these Afghani 25-year-old children. Um, Rapes are going up, shootings are going up, and um, oh yes, one more thing: more and more towns in Sweden has decided to let prayer calls, Muslim prayer calls, where they shout "Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, over the town squares because they don't want. They want everybody to be included in the Swedish society. Uh, I don't say that all Muslims are bad, only the ones that are really, really into the Islamic belief, where the non-believers should be slain with a strike to the neck and uh, forced to convert. Those kind of Islamic terrorists, and those are insane. But um, enough about that. Um, is it possible for a Swede that is not a Democrat to seek political asylum in the US? Um, because th this is... I, I, I don't know more anymore, actually, uh, what the fuck is going on here. But. One thing is clear, and that is that our government has no money for the Swedish citizens, no matter, no matter the color of the skin. But they have endless resources for illegal criminals that enter our border. Uh, now in my hometown of Esterås, a concern report has been filed to the social services of a Somali family where two young daughters under the age of 15 hasn't showed up in school and when the social service came to the house they discovered that those two girls were pregnant and uh, what it seems is that it's the mom's older brother that has uh, forced himself on them do you think this man will be processed and get the criminal charges 
I don't think so. Do you think you will read about it in the mainstream media? I don't think so. Will you hear about a Swedish guy discussing the problems in uh, Sweden and the lunacy and uh, lack of uh, common sense and logic? Yeah, he will be burned, he will be slandered and he will be whipped on the public square. So, peace out, build the wall, keep the bad ones out, let the good ones in and uh, shake it up.